All right, guys, welcome back. Well, this is uh, part two of the Manjaro Linux review I did last night. Just to finish up on this, now, we first took a look at the XFCE edition of Manjaro Linux. Now, my guess is many of you and at least some newbies know what the XFCE environment is. It's one of the most popular XFCE desktops out there. Here is, of course, uh, Zubuntu. But I decided to take a look at something called OpenBox. Um, I have it right here inside a virtual machine. Let me go ahead and just full screen this. And many of you, probably a lot of newbies, may not be familiar with uh, OpenBox. Let me just say that it's extremely lightweight and it is insanely fast. At least it is very fast for Manjaro Linux. So let's take a quick look at this. Let me log in here. All right, this is the default desktop for the OpenBox edition of Manjaro Linux. Very sparse. You don't have shortcuts on the screen except for a Synapse. This is a search function here which just popped up. And you can type in anything here. Let me just type in MU. And this will give me the uh, music folder here. This uses something called uh, Thunar. Yeah, the Thunar file manager. Very, very lightweight. But basically, to access your applets, or not applets, but applications, is to just right click and everything is hidden. Pretty much so. Uh, you can change the desktop wallpaper. There really isn't much here. Um, I think I'll just keep it green, it's fine. Right click again, we have a configuration. Screen display resolution, open box environment, workspaces, theme and look, screen saver, tint to panel root menu. Let's look, take a look at open box theme and look. Uh, let's see, Greenbird is default. Let's try <laughs> Cuckoo Spit. Yeah, okay. Crux, we'll leave it at Crux purplish theme. Looks fine. Let's right click again. All right, let's go to the uh, file manager. And you can see there's some purple here mixed in with the green. Again, very, very quick, fast responding. Synapse, I showed you that before. Right click again. The App Finder. This is where you would go if you were a newbie to search what apps are installed or to download some more stuff, some more apps. Um, Everything here is default except I downloaded a bleach bit. But basically, you can go to Systems, or System rather, Pac Man GUI, double click, and your password. <coughs> Excuse me. This is where you would sync to the database, update. All right, this is synchronizing the uh, package database. And it's usually quite, quite spiffy or quite zippy, rather. Update system. Update. Now, I think to install packages with this, for example, in Ubuntu would be sudo app get package of your choice, such as Banshee. With this, uh, you would just type in pacman. Uh, I believe it's pacman banshee or you can very easily click install packages and then type in the name. Now, I think for this, let me just give you guys a quick tip. If you are a newbie and wanted to try this and wanted some form of shortcuts on your desktop, let me recommend you try something called Docky. D-O-C-K-Y, click OK. And it will ask proceed with installation. Y, enter. And it will pick up the piece of software from the um, Manjaro repository. And, and as you can see, it's already done. So let's see. Let's click. Yeah, let's click exit. Right click. Let's try to find. Actually, let's do this. Click the, syn the Synapse shortcut, which is right up here. You have different desktop environments here, by the way, up to four. The clock I notice is in 24-hour format. I'm not sure how to change that to 12. Synapse and volume, volume control. This uses the ALSA mixer. All right, but getting back to Synapse, let's type in, uh, I want to find Docky, D-O, 
There we go. Enter. Now this is going to give you a Mac-like -like dock here at the bottom and you can add to this. Now I was messing with this before but basically if you go to the App Finder and let's say um, you wanted to add BleachBit to your desktop you can't just drag and drop this it's not going to work however left click hold it drag it to docky and there you go uh, let's see multimedia the um, audio mixer you can drag that and so on and so forth there we go I think for newbie this is for newbies this is probably the best way to run open box if you so choose to run a very quick insanely fast uh, environment such as the open box environment for Manjaro Linux uh, this is the shutdown function here you have several options let me just click um, cancel so once again if you're gonna try something like this and you can configure the dock the size the zoom function there and so on and so forth that's that's pretty huge let me go back and we'll just go there. Yeah, you can you can configure this if you so choose to, but I'll leave it there for now. And the clock here does give me the 24-hour uh, format and a nice little calendar also. So if you are going to try something like this, uh, I would definitely recommend a piece of software called uh, Docky. Now you can download different desktop environments for. Uh, open box. So let me see. I think I downloaded something else here. Let me go to log out and log out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Very cold up here in the Midwest. Let's go to Genome or Gnome and let's see what that looks like. And let's see the wallpaper loaded. There we go. And this is going to give you the standard genome 3 or the gnome shell environment and you can log in and out of the desktop environment of your choice. Again, it's very responsive, very fast. Of course you've got the hot corner here and the docky remains which is very nice as you see here. X noise, default music player, the default web browser is Midori. It's super lightweight, but I don't think this would be my uh, first choice for web browsers. And of course, BleachBit, this is similar to uh, um, CCleaner for Windows. And, and as you can see, there is a new version available. So I can either uh, keep it here, or I can log out by going to the top right, which is right here. Now, now with this calendar here in GNOME Shell, I believe you can change the time and date settings and go to the AM PM format so this may be a little bit easier for you uh, if you prefer to go back highlight your username log out log out ignore the virtual box warning there and let's go back to the um, open box password and there you go we are back to the default open box of course, we added the docky as an add-on. This thing is insanely fast. Let me uh, get out of this and just hit shutdown. And that's it. That's how quickly it shuts down. What, uh, 1.9 seconds? Insanely fast. Um, I haven't really messed with open box environment, desktop environment that much in the past. I'm not sure how stable it is, but if you have a test machine or a an old laptop desktop laying around, you may want to give this a try. Let me know what you guys think. I love anything that's super, super fast, but of course I want it to be stable. Also, if I had to pick one, I'll pick stable first, but if I can get both, hey, why not? Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are staying warm if you are here, living in the Midwest, in the States. And to that person who lives in Australia where you wanted a slice of the cold here, because I think the temperature in Australia was 45 degrees Celsius, uh, just off the top of my head, isn't that like well over like 100 degrees Fahrenheit? Ouch. All right, guys, thank you so much, and I will catch all of you sometime in the future.